Well, if you hear the ladies shrieking, that's because T-City is making his way to the octagon, the former title challenger, Brian Ortega. And a lot of people, DC, do believe for this jiu-jitsu practitioner, his ceiling is championship and eventually hook it. Yes, yes, the ladies go crazy for T-City. Even his video game character is the best looking guy out uh -huh. here. Brian Ortega is a jiu-jitsu guy. But as you saw in the Frankie Edgar fight, he has now developed striking to match. That was a massive uppercut that for the guy that had never been finished before. So as long as he continues to improve, John, he will realize a UFC championship before it's all said and done. All class outside the octagon with his Brian Ortega foundation, but T-City has got his eyes fixed on the prize. Title eliminator of sorts here tonight. Well, as much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. All right, ready to go here at the Big A, the Honda Center in Anaheim, the Duck Pond. Both fighters have entered the octagon. Could be one of the more important fights of this or any calendar year. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Brian T. City Ortega. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ilya El Matador Herb Dean, third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. Right, early round action here, and going to be interesting to see how Brian Ortega approaches this particular stylistic challenge. A lot of people feel like he will have a grappling advantage against this man and most every featherweight in the division. But Ortega wants to showcase that James Lurson boxing, and he's going to throw hands early and often tonight. We'll see how it plays out. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Right Topodia gets tattooed by that stiff jab. All right, early round action here. And as we're on T-City, Brian Ortega, we know how dangerous he is on the floor, but how about the striking team? I mean, he's gotten so much better. It was during the time away where Brian Ortega developed a great jab from the southpaw position, using his power hand out in front and just really thumping you with that front hand. Brian Ortega is a great grappler, but he now has the stand-up skills to match, and that's going to make him even more successful as he goes forward. Quick jab lands there. Fast pace here in the early going. 
beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kicks. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Good shot, good shot. Keep it up. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, hook to the head by Topuria. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Topuria. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Makes the bad man stop. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Just over two minutes to go. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Straight right is there. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Big punch lands. Ooh. Getting the hands going here early. Under a minute to go. Well, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And that relationship between Brian Ortega and James Lurson is as strong as a coach-fighter relationship as we have in MMA. Nice job in the boxing realm by Ortega here tonight. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Both fighters throwing heat now. Topuri has lowered John now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night could be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. Kick to the body by Ilya Topuria. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Five minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? Ready. Do Second it. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, I'm no expert, but you can't work that patented ground and pound unless you get the fight to the canvas. He hasn't even attempted a takedown. He has not even attempted a takedown. It is a far cry from what we have seen in his previous octagon appearances. Usually, he darts across the octagon and immediately starts to wrestle. Today, he is standing and striking. Maybe he wants to show off his newly developed striking skills.
Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both players are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Great block there. All right, so not exactly the approach we thought we would see out of this BJJ player. His ground game, you can argue, as good as anyone's in this division, yet he hasn't attempted a single takedown. Has not even attempted a takedown. I, I would never have expected this, John. I don't understand what is going on in this fighter's head. He needs to get the fight to his wheelhouse, and that is on the ground in the grappling. I don't know, man. Pride is a weird thing, and it seems as though he's fighting with pride tonight. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that over. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your... Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off, and now, He's to try to find this out again. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Topuria is doing a nice job there raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get worse as this fight continues. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ. Perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision. Because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Heard him again. Beautiful defense. Nice block. Starting to do some really significant... Whoa! Oh, he might get finished here. Oh, that's big. Big right here. Strong outside leg kick. Straight right, he misses. My favorite shot in the game, another leg kick. Well, the striking clinic continues, and... He's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking the damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axis. He cannot be straight on the center. He's got to hurt again. Oh, massive diving. Oh, he just lost to the head. Oh, this could be over soon. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hit or take his... Oh, oh. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly oh, caught with submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here.
All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Lead kick is true there by Topuria. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that... Oh! oh, he's in trouble. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, body shot. Oh, he got him again. Now he's throwing that jab to the body. So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough, they really have laid it on the line. Blood is everywhere. I'm just not sure how much one man can take. Never mind both of these guys absorbing a ton of damage to yeah. John, they're spraying blood all over each other. They're beating each other up. They are in each other's face. They are really showing you what type of heart you need in order to be a fighter. What a performance by both. Very rarely do you gain in losing. But whoever loses... Oh, no. Topuri is really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. Under three minutes now to go in the round. T-City gets done there by that stiff jab. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Trademark inside leg kick there by Topuria. I give one, I take one. You give one, another one. He's hurt bad. Back to his feet. You need to fight back. He's brutalized him with the guard ball. This fight is close to being done. Ortega's cut right on the bridge of his nose does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye. Oh, oh a huge kick to the leg. Choke is locked in. Oh, he's going to try to slam. Oh, oh, These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Ortega's cut on his nose does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. You got to think the ringside position is going to get called in here in a moment. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job. Just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Ortega is going for an arm here. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Nice job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. Topuria is in half guard. Right side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Rubber guard for him now, DC. Some people believe this is nothing more than a stall tactic. What do you think the offensive fighter is trying to do? He needs to regain his posture, right? He needs to shove that foot down from around his neck, shove it down, build your face, get that arm free, and then get back to work trying to advance position to your ground and pound right. If you play in there, you can find yourself in a lot of danger if you're not careful. 
Now he's going full mount. 15 seconds remain in the round. Right there. Concordia's cut has really opened up now. That blood is flowing. Didn't necessarily wake up thinking he was going to be donating blood today. He has donated a whole lot of it. All right, All right three rounds stop, down, stop, potentially stop. two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Right, so these are the type of fights that end up in the UFC Hall of Fame. Hard to pick a winner, heart, cardio, skill. This fight is what this sport's all about. It's the best. It really does speak to what fighting is. When you see guys just lay it out on the line. And honestly, watching this fight, I don't care who won. I don't care who won the fight. I know that anyone that's watched these two will have a bigger respect for them after this fight is done. Take a seat. Breathe. Relax. Slow that heart rate down. It's okay. We expected this type of fight. We trained for this. We're bloody. We knew it was going to be okay. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do Fourth it. round now. Fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is up. Oh! Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one, two, punch there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Right we might get a stoppage here soon. Ortega's in half guard now. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Like Ortega's that. an absolute like mess right now. This fight might actually get stopped by the ringside physician due to that cut. Lands the ground and pound strike. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Like that. Ortega's back in full guard now. The cut men on both sides have done an outstanding job keeping these guys in this fight. Oh, nice. He's got to start throwing down. Topuria's in half guard. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Ortega's right back to the full mount. Oh, man, another strike gets through, and now things are critical. We got a lot of blood, folks. Create a scramble. Let's go. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Well, his grappling has been on point thus far, and don't think he's going to slow down. He can keep up this pace through the whole fight. Especially when he's on top, in the top yeah. position, where he's controlling the exchanges, controlling the transitions. He can do it with his eyes closed. This is something he's been doing since he was a young man. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, is there bad? Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Oh, man, another strike gets through. You can only describe his condition as critical now. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard. Oh! Topuria's in half court, making all these shots count. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, he got to the spot. 90 seconds to go. Topuria gets back up again. Nicely done.
Big right hook there by the champ. Well, I don't think his corner is going to step in here, but maybe the referee will take a close look. I mean, that eye is disgusting. His eye is done. He's been beat up. He got cut early in the fight, and he's just been targeted in that area. He has not made anything, any changes to his defense, so he's continuing down this path. The doctor's going to take a look. Trying to go... Oh, oh, do it. oh my goodness! That has got to feel good! Nice by Brian Ortega. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 13 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Brian T. City Ortega. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much.